Hi friends, welcome on board for another project. This is a digital FM transmitter circuit. This one is the assembled board and this one is the bare PCB board. I designed the schematic and PCB using Altium Designer and shared the PCB with my friends using Altium 365. Also, I sent the Gerbers to PCB way and as you can see the fabrication quality of the boards it's just perfect. Anyway, in this section, I will explain the board. In the next step, I will go through the schematic and PCB. Here is the input connectors to the uh, FM transmitter circuit. You can either use this X-Edge connector to connect this microphone or use this headphone jack to connect one of these cables uh, like this and this one to your mobile phone or whatever. To play the music on sound and hear the music uh, on your uh, FM radio. So you can either use this one or this one. This XH connector is to connect the power. Here is the power supply of the circuit, and this section belongs to the microphone amplifier. This chip belongs to the FM transmitter uh, part, and this UFL connector is used to connect the antenna to the circuit so you you're gonna use one of these uh, connectors or cables and then you're gonna connect this side to the to one of these telescopic antennas like this you see that as it is clear this is a this is an OLED display to show the frequency and etc you can increase the frequency using this button and decrease the frequency using this another one. The microcontroller is below the display here. I'm not sure if you can see the microcontroller here. And here is the ISP pins to program the microcontroller. So you're gonna use an AVR ISP programmer to program the chip. I think it's enough for this section. In the next step, I will go through the schematic and PCB. Stay tuned. All right, here is the home page of Altium Designer because as I told you, I designed the schematic and PCB using this software. So if you don't have the Altium on your computer, that's not a problem. Just follow the link in my YouTube video description and fill out a form. That allows you to download the latest version of the Altium, so far is 23.4, and activate it with a free legal license. That legal license enables you to use this, to use and try the software in full features for free. So just follow that link. Let's go to the schematic. Here is the schematic diagram. Okay. And this is the PCB layout. Let's go to the schematic. As you know, with each project, I also publish an article. So I just, I just skip the schematic and explain it in the article. Before I go to the PCB, let's investigate about this microcontroller 80 mega 8 on the Octopart website. So here it is, 80 mega 8 AU, SMD version of this microcontroller. Um, the first interesting information is this inventory history. So it says in the last year, the price increased 425%. So what can I say? Dramatic? We should cry or what? Let's go. What, what we can say or what we can do. That's the price in these days. So it says 22 pins, number of pins and 20... Uh, sorry 32 pins and number of ios uh, is 22 16 megahertz 8 kilobytes of flash memory and etc so all of all the information is just in front of you so i recommend you use this website all of the features of this website is free let's come back to the altium and go to the pcb there we go here is the pcb layout so as it is clear, it is a two layers PCB board and all components are SMD. As I always mention, 
The first and maybe the most important rule in whatever PCB design is the correct placement of the components. Let me explain it here. As you see, I have put all of these connectors on the bottom edge of the PCB. This input jack, these two X-edge connectors, here is the power supply on this area, the input, uh, the microphone amplifier, and the transmitter part and the antenna on this edge of the PCB. So here is the connector for the antenna. Okay, and on the top, I put the microcontroller and the ISP interface to program the microcontroller uh, controller on the up corner on the right side of the PCB. I mean this one. Okay, and on the left side, uh, I have placed the buttons to increase and decrease the frequency. So this means the true placement of the components. This is the minimum uh, rule that you should follow on all of the PCBs. And this is the essential rule that, that ensures that your PCB and circuit works flawlessly. The next point is the uh, length of the ground pass. So I have implemented these two polygons on the top and bottom layers. I mean, this is the bottom layer and this is the top layer. So these two polygons help to reduce the length of the ground pass. And as much as you reduce the length of the ground pass, your circuit works stable. And so in some industrial applications where you should pass some uh, industrial standards, that's the only way. Uh, I mean, this and ground pass is very important to pass the EMC tests, okay? In this circuit, it was not mandatory to use four layers and however, in industrial applications, maybe the minimum requirement is to use four layers or even more to follow and pass the EMC test. Let's, uh, let's, show, the, uh, let's show you the board in 3D. Here is the 3D view of the board and the bottom side. Let me show you the bottom side. Here is the bottom side. Let's come back to the PCB and show you uh, enable this option, single layer mode. So here is the top layer. Now the polygons are uh, more clear. This is the bottom polygon. And this view is much better. You see that? And the last point is these wires good uh, that I see these wires. I was going to forget this point. So do you see these wires? These wires also help to reduce the length of the ground pass. And I have placed these wires near critical and I mean the decoupling capacitors mainly and below this microcontroller. So these are the critical areas where the ground path should be as, as, as uh, short as possible minimum length okay uh, so that's why i have put these wires near these components so here near the ground pin of this uh, fm transmitter chip okay near the ground pin of the regulators near the ground pin of the decoupling capacitors here microphone amplifier here the input jack for the sound here uh, uh, near the a connector for the antenna. I think you got what I mean. Okay, so just follow these rules in your PCB and uh, I'm sure you, you will be happy. Anyway, let's go and test the circuit in the next step. All right, this is my FM receiver and I have set the frequency on 91.4D. Okay, let me show you the transmitter. This is the transmitter and this is my cell phone. So I will set the transmitter on the same frequency, 91.4D, and I will play a music, okay, from YouTube. So let me zoom in on the board and set the frequency. This sound is from the receiver, 91. Point four, and let's play a music. 
from YouTube. Actually, the sound is really sharp. I hope you enjoyed this project. And the stability is also very good. See you in the next video.